Hello everyone, this is Michael Green, and I am the manager of Emerging and Interactive Media here for Texas A&M. And I'm here to show you the quickest and easiest way to get subtitle files for your videos. And you can pay people to do this, but I have found that this is a quick and free way to do it. Uh, YouTube pretty much does 90% of the work for you. And so um, I'm going to show you how to do it real quick and then what you can do once you have that subtitle file. It's a .srt file is what you're looking for. So step one, we have our video. It's here on my desktop. It is a video we did when Clemson came to town. And the biggest thing we need to be clear of is it has people actually talking. Okay, so we've got that and now we're just gonna upload it to YouTube. So this is my personal channel. This is not the channel that it's gonna go out on. I'm not interested in this moment to get it out for people to see it. This is just to get the subtitle file. So um, I suggest doing this uh, before you put it out anywhere. Just use YouTube sort of as a subtitle generator rather than, um, you know, you can put it out on YouTube later, but right now we're just using it to get subtitles. So I'm going to upload my file. So first thing I'm going to do is make it private. That way nobody sees it on my channel. And then the second thing is going into the advanced settings and I'm going to change the video language to English. And that's gonna tell YouTube you know, what language the video's in so that it knows when it's gonna create its automatic captions, it's, it knows to do it English. So I think this will do, um, do it a lot faster. And then I usually say this is never aired on television for the US. I don't know why I do that. I don't really know where how this applies, but I do it anyway, because it's true. Um, but I'm gonna end up deleting this video off my channel anyway, so it doesn't matter. Okay, so we're pretty much done here for what we need to do. And we're gonna go back over here to the actual channel. And once it's done, it will show up. Here we go. So let's refresh. And here's my video. Now, um, one thing we'll notice when we go in here, this, by the way, this is YouTube Studio Beta, so if your YouTube doesn't look like this, uh, it will in a little bit, um, in a few months or so, because this is what YouTube's changing to. Um, but this is all available in the old YouTube as well, just in different places. Um, what we're looking for is the captions, right? So it's under transcriptions here. And you'll see there is one, but it says English video language. So this is basically what we told it. This is in English. It has not created the auto caption yet. It takes about five to 10 minutes for YouTube to auto caption your video. So at this point, go grab a drink, um, go grab a coffee, <laughs> and just wait. Um, I'm going to keep refreshing here and just see how long it takes. And uh, I'll get back once it shows up. All right, so as you can see, now we have English automatic subtitles. And if we refresh this or just go to it, there we go. So now we have what you see here are the actual subtitles and their place in the video. So let's go into edit because obviously they're not gonna be perfect. Edit, here we go. All right, so what I would do now is just start watching the video and edit as it goes. It's really simple. Let's see. Here's the first bit. So obviously it's not at midnight yell, it's Aggie. Midnight yell, not Yale. And that is one sentence. So basically what I do here is I try to make this as correct, I mean, make it correct, but then also break it in natural places. So this is kind of a longer sentence. So what I'm gonna do is cut it from here and actually make this whole statement into one of these blocks. That way this one is a statement in its own right. And let's watch the timing here. YouTube allows you to drag the timing around. So it starts a little bit early, but that's okay. It's not too bad. And now that I've cut it uh, into just this sentence, I need to shrink this to where that sentence ends. Actually, there we go. Let's grab this one. 
and then drag this one out to where the new sentence begins. So let's watch that. Cool. And obviously I'm not going to do this whole video. Um, I'm just going to do this little bit just to show you how easy it is. Um, obviously when it does things like this where there's just one word, um, let's watch it and see what that looks like. Yeah, so it just doesn't even know what's going on over here where it's just this word but. So we can just delete that altogether. Um, yeah, so you go through the video, you you know clean up all these subtitles, and then once you're done, first thing you need to do is save the changes so that now we have an actual correct caption for your video. And then now you see there's actually two sets of captions, English automatic and English. And this is the one you just created. So you can go in here to the automatic one and unpublish it. We don't need it anymore. It doesn't need to be there. So now we're back to just the English one. Save the, no, that's the old one. My bad, delete draft. Permanently delete, there we go. So now we just have English, cool. So now that's correct. Um, if you wanted to go ahead and publish this public, you could, but I don't need to. Um, I'm gonna do that later on on the other channel. So now the next step is to go in here and we have our correct file um, I've only corrected the first two, but you know, you've obviously gone and done the whole thing. You go to actions and then download SRT. And there you go, boom, it gives it to you right there. That is your sidecar file. That is the file you need for all other social networks. It wants the .srt subtitles file. So I'll show you what to do with that next. On to Facebook. So when we have Facebook, the first thing we're gonna do, this is our test account, is just simply upload a video and we go to the desktop and there's the video that we had originally so it does not have captions attached and then as we're uploading it this is where you can add subtitles so we go in here of course it needs to finish doing its thing so it's not going very fast I'm going to pause here and come back when it's done alright so the video is done uh, uploading to Facebook and so now when you go into subtitles and captions first we're going to select the video language which is English and then we can now upload our captions file that we downloaded from YouTube we're gonna hit one snag and I'll show you it in a second so there you go we've uploaded it and it says "Uh oh you need to rename the file with this new little thing attached here so basically this tag that you add to the file name tells it this is an English US uh, language. So we'll just go into the finder and there's our little captions. We're just going to copy what it actually wants and paste it right here. Okay, so now it's, you know, captions or whatever the file name is we could name it whatever the video title is if we want to make it more clean, but um, just dot en underscore capital U capital S. And now that we've renamed it, when we try to upload it, Facebook likes it a lot better. So now we've added uh, our captions to Facebook. Super great, default language, English, and then we're good to go on Facebook. So that's pretty simple. All you need to do is change the language. You need to change uh, the title of the file to in include this little language tag and you know you could memorize that or honestly do what I did upload it and then it'll tell you what it wants you copy and paste it so it's pretty simple all right and the last thing is pretty um, new that we've found at least and that is here in Twitter Media Studio so um, basically you can upload your video to Media Studio and Media Studio is studio.twitter.com. You have to be logged into your account on Twitter and then go to studio.twitter.com because there's no sort of login page um, for it. And then you can see every tw like piece of media that you have uh, posted in a long time, or I guess forever. Uh, this is just our test account, so there's not much there. So from Twitter Media Studio, you can do a lot of really cool things in Twitter. 
So as it's processing, I'll show you a little bit what you can do. You can add a title and a description to any video. You would also um, select what your video is. You can select actually two tags um, for your video. You can create a call to action link in your video, which a lot of people don't do this. Um, some people don't know about Twitter Media Studio, but also this changes the look of the video. It does put like a little border around it. Um, so you can do it, you cannot do it, it doesn't really matter. The thing we care about are here these subtitles. So you go to subtitles and now select a language, English, and let's try to upload our captions file. I'm going to leave the en underscore us on there because last time I uploaded it like Facebook liked it, it Twitter was great with it. So let's give it a try. There we go. So now we have subtitles on our Twitter video as well. Now, I think you have to have subtitles enabled on your actual device, like in your device settings, not just on Twitter, um, to see them. But uh, just know that you have added them, and if anybody does want to see them, they are there. Um, it seems like Twitter's still kind of working on this feature, so if it doesn't immediately show, um, that's okay. You've kind of done everything you can do. So there's that. Instagram does not allow you to, um, to do captions at this time, but you know YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter all work like this. Another great thing about Twitter Media Studio, now that we're here, uh, you can go in and change the um, cover photo. Choose that frame. And that changes the nice preview of your video in Twitter. So that's really nice. And you can see I've done this once before. So those are, I think, the easiest way to get subtitles for your social media videos. Um, if you have any other suggestions that's quicker or easier, let me know. Um, but yeah. That's it. Thanks so much for watching.